guys like that, you know, they have high energy, great athletes, and a great team like that. You know, I try to just go out there and play my game. You know, coach puts the ball in my hands and lets me make plays. And my teammates have confidence in me that I can make plays, so it gives me that much more confidence to do my thing. Were you a little surprised the way they were defending you? It seemed like they were so close right on top of you, and you just flew right by them. Were you a little surprised at that? Oh, uh, no, because they're a man-to-man -man team. The same way we play, you know, they try to switch a little zone, and they, you know, they're a man-to-man -man team, saying well, we're a man-to-man -man team, and you know we don't like to switch away from our things. So, you know, they, they pressure the ball; they can't just really change what they do because that's what they're used to. But you know, when you play man-to-man, -man, it's easy for me to get to the paint because I'm a little bit more quicker than most guys, so it fits in my advantage. You were down five, six points a couple times, and especially in the second half, and you just hit a couple of huge threes. Talk a little about the momentum swing there. Yeah, definitely. You know, teams are going to start trying to go under and not play the jump shot. So, you know. It, it's a good basketball play to shoot the jump shot. You know, I'm in the rhythm, I'm feeling it, so I thought it was a good plays, and there were great momentum builders for our team, you know, when we capitalized on them. You were, go ahead. Jay, you said the other day that you were going to pick your moments when you decided to kind of shoulder more of the scoring load. Did you, when did you decide that tonight, if you did, or did it come from the bench that you need to be a little bit more assertive? You know, I knew that was one of those games where I had to come out and, and, and attack early. You know, I know against these teams that, you know, some of the younger guys and some of the guys that haven't played in these games are quite ready to attack early, and I'm used to it, so I had the, the, the early urge to attack early. I knew yesterday, I knew we were coming to play UNLV, that it was one of those games where I was going to have to be aggressive. It's pretty good shot blockers on UNLV down low. Didn't seem to bother you much, though. I mean, talk a little bit about that. You know, you know, I have to keep going to the basket. I have to keep being aggressive, you know. Uh, JB's a good shot blocker down there, and he alters their shots, and you know the big guy down there alters our shots. You know, I just got to keep going. You know, I can't let a couple block shots, you know, just make my confidence go down. Some say your schedule a little weak until this point, but you come in here, you beat a pretty good UNLV you know, basketball team. What does that say about your block court? You know, that's huge for us. That's huge for our confidence. You know, that's huge because we have a, a nice little RPI coming in. Uh, these are the tougher teams down the road, so this is a great move for our confidence because most teams that we play are going to be this athletic, this many shot blockers, and not going to have this many guys who can make plays. So if we can beat these guys, then it's, it's good for our confidence. At a certain point there, you were calling for a, a ball screen from Jordan just about every time and just going. Was that something that you were seeing that they were doing or over time that you felt comfortable with, or what happened there? That's actually what Coach Herb was playing, you know, drawing up, you know, loops. With the, with the four crossing in front of me, the big guys coming to set the screens because it was kind of tough for them to guard my quickness on the pick and roll. And then, you know, Jordan in the, in the post, in, in the block, when he's rolling, it's kind of tough to tag him. So it's kind of tough to play our pick and roll when you got shooters in the corner as well. You had very few turnovers tonight of the team. How crucial was that in the win? You know, when you take care of the ball, you get more possessions. And uh, we took care of the ball pretty well tonight, and we got more shots up. And uh, I think that's good for our confidence as well. You know, we're, we're a team that sometimes is careless with the ball, but tonight we kept the ball in our hands, and we got more shots up. Got great possessions. Uh, how about defensively? It seems like uh, when the game first opened, uh, they, uh, they kept on driving on uh, every single possession. But how did you guys adjust from that from the second half? You know, it's tough. We haven't really played in the teams like that, period, in the last two years that I've been here. So mm -hmm. it's tough to adjust to guys who play the same type of way we play. So we just had to, in the flow of the game, we had to adjust and learn how they played, learn their personnel. And I think we got used to it, and I think we defended it pretty well. You're a confident guy anyway. But there, there's a moment in the second half where I think you hit a three and you backpedaled nod on your head a little bit. You could just see it. Can you describe just what that feels like when you get into a zone like that? Yeah, it's huge. You know, it's huge for my teammates. It's huge for my confidence. Like, you know, with Jermaine and, and JP having the same confidence I have and them embracing me with it, you know, it's just tough. You know, out here with the energy of young guy, I think that the more I hit shots, the more energetic I feel, you know, the better I feel about myself. Does this give you guys a boost just knowing that they're a pretty athletic team, is on the road, you know, things like that? Yeah, definitely. You know, that team's one of the most athletic teams in the country. And I feel that we defended well, we executed well, we rebounded well with those guys. So it's definitely a huge confidence boost knowing that we can play with the most, one of the most athletic teams in the country. What did you see them trying to do to stop you? Was it one of very effective stopping you than anything? You know, they were trying to uh, go on the ball screens, yeah, switch ball screens, and uh, meet me at the basket and try to block my shot. But you know, I had to just adjust. And, you know, my teammates yeah, had jump shots. And when the big fellas inside and everybody's playing their role, it's pretty tough to just contain us, period.